Imagine a fruit so potent it awakens your neurons and revives the circuitry of your nerves all without raising blood sugar. So what fruit are we talking about? It's limes. I bet you didn't know that limes are formidable agents for building your neurological fortress. So in today's video, I'll uncover the powerful benefits limes have on your central nervous system and your peripheral nerves. I'll reveal how they can fight neural de degeneration and protect your peripheral nerves from damage. And I'll highlight many of the other be health benefits that limes supply to our immune system and even our heart. Stay with us, you don't want to miss this Lyme extravaganza. Hey gang, Dr. C here. If you're ready to conquer your peripheral neuropathy, reclaim your life, and start living again, then make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on that bell to get notified as soon as we release new content. Now, let's jump in. A few months back, I did a video on the power of lemons for nerve repair. If you missed it, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Well, we received overwhelming number of people asking if limes have the same healing effects, which is a great question. Both lemons and limes have similar nutrients, but there are a few noticeable differences. For instance, lemons contain more vitamin C and flavonoids than limes. However, limes have higher levels of minerals and vitamins than lemons. For example, limes have more niacin, calcium, iron, zinc, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium than lemons. Limes also contain vitamin A, which lemons lack, and vitamin A is important for mucosal membranes, like the inside of your mouth, nose, GI, lungs, your bladder, urinary tract, vaginal lining, and the cornea. And it's also important for skin and eye health. Now, although lemons may have more flavonoids, than limes, it doesn't mean that limes are slacker in the antioxidant, uh, antioxidant category. Limes contain many more antioxidants than just the flavonoid family. They are comprised of limonoids, camphorol, ascorbic acid, phenolic acid, and quercetin. All of these are very powerful antioxidants. So limes still pack a powerful antioxidant punch. Now, this is extremely important for many systems in the body. The metabolites in limes are antibacterial, anti-cancer, anti-diabetic, anti-fungal, and anti-inflammatory. A 2016 study showed that when used daily, key limes reduce the risk of various chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, urinary diseases, and certain cancers. This study further revealed that specific antioxidants contained in limes like alkaloids, carotenoids, and flavonoids exhibited mechanisms to stop cancer cell mobility and migration in the circulatory system. This means that they can potentially inhibit metastasis or cancer spread. Now, there are a couple of different varieties of limes. The common conventional limes you see in most supermarkets are called Persian limes. They're larger, oblong-shaped green limes with a thicker skin or rind. They're more acidic, making their flavor tartar. The other type of uh, lime is called a key lime and is a smaller, rounder, and a more aromatic lime. Its flavor is a bit sweeter than the Persian lime, which is why it's the preferred choice when making key lime pies. But key limes can be harder to find because they're no longer grown in the U.S. The good news is both of these limes have the same health benefits. Okay, let's look at the limes effect on your nervous system. We've already mentioned that limes are rich in antioxidants, which are important compounds that defend your cells against molecules called free radicals. In high amounts, free radicals can damage any cell in the body, but your nerve cells are especially susceptible. The brain is especially at risk from being harmed by oxidative stress because it uses large amounts of oxygen, which can result in free radical formation when there aren't enough antioxidants to squelch it. This can be a significant problem for people following a carnivore diet if they're not taking antioxidant supplements. Although a carnivore diet carries health benefits when used short term, on a long term basis, many people following this diet become severely deficient in antioxidants. 
So the question is, can limes prevent this damage? Well, let's start with the central nervous system, which is the brain and the spinal cord. Limes contain a significant amount of antioxidants that can cross the blood-brain barrier and directly protect neurons against oxidative damage, inflammation, and the accumulation of amyloid plaques commonly seen in Alzheimer's disease. Next, limes contain powerful flavonoids like hesperidin, aerocitrin, and naringin, all of which have been proven to provide neural protection. So they can actually protect brain neurons from damage and from neurodegeneration. In 2020, researchers from a study out of Thailand found that lime extracts protected brain cells from damaging effects of high glucose consumption and, and elevation. Another study published in 2021 confirmed the neuroprotective effects of flavonones in limes. Researchers also found that polyphenols improved brain health and cognition while reducing systemic inflammation and free radicals. Although the limes have a small amount of folate, studies have shown that it plays an essential role for the synthesis of neurotransmitters in the brain that are crucial for mood regulation and cognition. Limes and the peripheral nerves. Now, let's look at the impact of limes on the peripheral nervous system. Well, you may have heard how vitamin C is a critical component of collagen, which we typically associate with youthful skin. So it might surprise you to find out that your peripheral nerves are dependent on collagen for their health as well. Collagen is essential for the repair and maintenance of the myelin sheath. That is the protective coating that surrounds nerve fibers. Healthy myelin sheaths will ensure lightning speed nerve impulse transmission throughout the entire peripheral nervous system. The vitamin C found in lime play, plays a critical role in this collagen synthesis. Now, some may say I can get more vitamin C from eating red bell peppers or kiwi than I can get from limes, and you would be correct. But there are other antioxidants that you'll find in limes that support your peripheral nerve health. Important flavonoids found in limes like hesperidin, naringenin, and limonoids protect peripheral nerves and their mitochondria from inflammation and free radical damage. These compounds reduce oxidative injury to DNA and nerves and other cells in the body. Further studies have shown that these flavonones such as camphorol reduce neuroinflammation in both the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. Studies have shown that both hesperidin and camphorol in particular have strong neuroprotective effects on the ability to support nerve regeneration. Now, remember, we mentioned earlier that limes contain more minerals than lemons. Well, minerals like potassium and magnesium found in limes are crucial for nerve signal transmission, regeneration, and repair. But the benefits of limes don't stop with the nervous system, though. No. There are several studies that have shown that limes support your immune system and can help prevent infection due, their, due to their antibacterial properties. They've been shown to improve glycemic control, which is another way to say they support healthy blood sugar. They can help lower blood pressure and reduce the risk of heart disease. In fact, in 2019, researchers altered the diets of rats to increase their cholesterol. They then fed them the essential oil extracted from limes and examined their cardiovascular biomarkers. Researchers found that lime oil lowered total cholesterol triglycerides, and LDL cholesterol in just eight weeks, along with reducing obesity, plaque formation, and fatty liver in the rats. Limes also aid in digestion by increasing bile flow, which will ultimately reduce liver and gallbladder congestion. In fact, if more people drank lemon and lime juice every day, there would be far fewer instances of gallstones and kidney stones because both lemon and lime juice can dissolve these stones. There are also would be far fewer people having their gallbladders taken out. How to use limes. Next, let's talk about how to work limes into your diet. Now here's a question we're often asked. Is bottled conventional lime juice just as good as freshly squeezed? Sadly, the answer is no. Many bottled juices, whether they're labeled made from concentrate or fresh pressed, contain additive, additives like sulfites, which many people are sensitive to, or they may contain sodium benzoate used as a preservative, but it's also a known carcinogen. Also, 
Commercially uh, bottled lime juice will only have a small fraction of the vitamins and minerals compared to freshly made juice. Much of this is due to the length of time that it sits on a grocery store shelf and the oxidation that occurs, which will break down the vitamins and minerals. So although you can use bottled lime juice in the, in the recipes provided, don't expect to get the same health benefits. Let's look at the easiest way that you can get limes into your diet. Well, start with drinking freshly squeezed lime juice. Now, you can drink the juice undiluted if you don't suffer from acid reflux, or you can dilute it in water. Next, ditch the iced tea this summer and switch to limeade. This cool, refreshing drink will give you a great health boost. You can spruce up your salads by using fresh and easy to make cilantro lime dressing. Now here's a great double bonus. Cilantro helps remove heavy metals from the body and it's also been found to be antibacterial and antiviral. So mixing this heavy hitter with lime juice will really boost your immune system, cardiovascular and nervous system. If you're getting tired of ordinary salads, try a cilantro lime coleslaw. This is great for the three systems I just mentioned, along with improving your gut health. If you're a seafood lover, you've got to try ceviche. Not familiar with this Mexican delight? Ceviche is diced cubes of seafood like shrimp, fish, or crab that are marinated in lime juice. The citrus juice cures or cooks the fish protein. If this is too much like sushi for you, don't worry, you can cook the seafood and still prepare the dish the same way. You'll also mix in chopped bell peppers, red onions, and avocados into this dish. Now there's a powerhouse of nutrients for you. Spicy lime avocado soup is another great way to get lime juice into your diet. You can also make some coconut lime rice, and don't worry, I didn't forget about dessert. Make healthy key lime pie bars. Now, you didn't think I was gonna go too crazy with this, did you? I'll leave links for all these delicious recipes that I just mentioned in the description box below. Now, you're probably wondering, how many limes should you consume a day? Well, just one lime a day will provide you with all these amazing health benefits we talked about today. So, health warriors, you can see limes offer an arsenal of nutrients ready to serve and defend your nervous system. But I do want you to remember, there is no single magic bullet when it comes to food. Your food choices provide the foundation for your nerve health. But much like building a house, you need more than just the foundation. So, incorporate limes into a balanced and varied diet that includes a wide range of low glycemic fruits, tons of non-starchy vegetables, lean proteins, healthy fats, and very few grains. Now, before I go, I have a small favor to ask. It's our mission to create a neuropathy-free tribe around the world, and we need your help to do this. If you've enjoyed this video, please like us and share it with others. The most frightening challenge for most neuropathy sufferers is feeling alone and hopeless. Together, we can help others realize that they don't have to live a life of misery and they're not alone. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell to get notified as soon as we release our next video. Until next time, my friends, I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. Put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. Say, doctor. <laughs> don't record that. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, let's get started. And can help prevent infection due to their antibacterial properties. <laughs>